our program. Joining us is Fitz and Kiko, and they are from this United Nurses Association of California, representing their union. Uh, maraming mga Pilipino that are members of this union. Alam niyo po ba, there are about 30,000 members and maybe 50 to 60% are of Filipino American heritage. So thank you for coming to the program and talking about this issue. Ano ba ang mga issue ng ating mga uh, nurses that are part of this organization when it comes to dialysis? Marami, I'm sure. Fitz, ano yung mga issue? Share with us your personal experience. Um, in my case, because uh, I know Rico works in a clinic, mainly mm -hmm. I work in the hospital. So, iba, iba ang iba hospital areas, at I mean, clinic. Yeah, oh, oh, your setting. Issues. So, as far as um, issues in the hospital is concerned, um, it all goes down to to profit, making profit for for the company, wherein they they cut costs mm -hmm. to the point where um, we're short staff. They try to put so much more in our plate with just a few nurses to serve each mm. hospital mm -hmm. because we're assigned different hospitals so mm -hmm. I go to a particular hospital and sometimes um, they overwhelm us with so, met, so many cases uh -oh. and um, I, I don't mind because I do help uh, as much as I can but there are times when you do get burned out and, um, another and when you get burned out buhay ang katapat nun. exactly exactly quality of care is compromised and yes. at the same time um, another issue which I know um, through my dialysis uh, career, I work for two big companies. Mm -hmm. And most of the time when it's a big company, they, they compensate, the, the compensation is not as competitive. That's, that's the problem. And then I know uh, for a fact that pe when people see me when I work in the hospital, there are those that really are intrigued at what I do because it is a specialty. You need to be trained to do this. Not any other nurse on the floor can be pulled out and say, you know what, we're missing one dialysis nurse. Uh, can you have this nurse come instead to take that nurse's place? Mm -hmm. Can't do that. Uh -oh. This is a specialized field, but unfortunately, we only have a few people who can do this. And one of the reasons why is because when you try to encourage them to join, once they find out about how the way they're compensated, it's not as competitive because of these two big companies. Right, so so you have these two big companies that offer dialysis to, to most of, to most of the people that need uh, the service, yeah. and yet they aren't properly compensating them. Yeah, it's not as competitive. That's a, I, I've seen other companies that are well compensated, and, I, and one of the reasons is because they have a union, like UNAC, for instance. Right. And it makes, it's like a night and day difference as far as compensation is concerned. That's right. So if yeah. you are in the medical field and you're not part of this organization, you better call them right away. <laughs> um, <laughs> we are talking about SB 349, the Dialysis Patient Safety Bill, and we'll talk more about that. But Rico, can you just share with us briefly, ano naman ang mga issue pag nasa clinic ka bilang isang um, nagtratrabaho sa clinic? What are the issues that you experience? Well, mag-11 years na ako sa dialysis. Actually, um, our uh, story, uh, yung workers, they don't, they don't really want to form or join union. It was just like uh, uh, last year that um, Fresenius, one of the biggest um, company in, in the world of making machines and, you know, gusto kaming gawin na, yung, yung workers kasi in dialysis, they work two, jo they work two jobs. Mm -hmm. Because w working for one company is not enough to make a livelihood. So they work uh, two jobs, so that's, that's six days in total. So they only have one day off. Last year, um, for seniors was trying to push this four days, 10 hours shift that they want us to make four days, 10 hours. And when we heard about that, that's unfair because we're gonna lose our livelihood. So, um, it was good that I know of this Filipino organization uh, named Filipino American Health Works Associ Association. Mm -hmm. They suggested uh, for me to get a hold of uh, UNAC, United Nurses Association of California, mm -hmm. to help us uh, how to uh, stop this uh, um, inhumane uh, uh, policy that they, they try to impose to us. So when we got a hold of them, uh, they showed us the step, how to get organized mm -hmm. and work collectively mm -hmm. as, a, uh, as a unit and really put pressure or even like resist that, um, that, that they're trying to impose to us. So when they heard about that, oh, the workers are getting organized. So, natakot na sila. Natakot. So they went to a facility and they said, sorry, we didn't mean it. Uh, it was a gossip. Yeah. 
nag-apologize. At uh, siyempre, kami... Um, Nag-organize na kayo. Oh, uh, tinuloy na namin oh, oh. for the patient safety. Absolutely. It's not also our welfare because if we get the, the right staffing and if we can voice out as a, as a force, like a un unit, that we can change uh, um, a situation like that, then we could do more yes. by uniting and actually uniting it's with better, you. It's better yes. for everybody, for, everyone, for, and the, for the patient, community. for yes. the community, yes. for the workers. Mm -hmm. Uh, and ano ba naman yung, uh, yung mga malalaking kumpanya na ang laki-laki na ng profit nila, okay. di ba? Um, it's so important that we organize. But as Filipinos, let's face it, takot tayo. Yeah. Takot tayo na to rock the boat, right? Okay. But there is power in numbers. And that's why if you are in uh, the nursing field or in the medical field and you are not part of a union, now is the time to make sure that you join so that your voices can be heard as a collective, yes. right? There is a bill out there that they are um, really lobbying for in Washington. And if you want more information, go to better-dialysis.org. We'll give you those details of that bill when we turn here on Kababayan today. All right, magbabalik tayo.